this is the island of Brescia here. And as we come around there, we'll be seeing um, uh, Noss and the amazing gannetry. And I think we're going to be seeing a mixture of awesome things, but also some really awful things. So I'm a bit apprehensive and excited at the same time. really hard because it's really awesome seeing the gamuts like this. But, um, oh sorry, <laughs> but it's really hard because eh, it's so awful. Zagging cops seeing them when they're dead, but when they're still alive and suffering. <laughs> so, I feel a lot, I feel extremely sad and what I am feeling is really angry as well because this is a, this comes from humans, this is not, well, it's a human sort of problem uh, through, uh, this started in the poultry industry in the Far East and it's spread over here and uh, all that gannets do and other seabirds, I'm getting emotional again, sorry, but they gift us, they give us so much joy and so much pleasure and produce wonderful things. Uh, and they've come through, they're dealing with climate change, you'll see them that wrapped up in plastic and there's a uh, plastic in the nest, so we're, they're dealing with that. And it's just really hard, it's just so guilty being a human, <laughs> basically. So, yeah, so I feel really quite emotional. I, yeah, a mixture of things. My family's been here for generations, so it's very much home to me. The sea is always changing, the light's amazing, so the landscape and the sea and the sky is always pretty cool, but then we've got all the wildlife that's just fantastic. Like, it's, it's just a horror that's unfolding in front of our eyes. It feels like we're, yeah, just in a bit of a horror film that's unfolding, and it's hard not to catastrophize. I think to be a conservationist, you have to be an optimist because you, you believe that you can make a difference and you can help other people got to get tuned into wildlife. But we've also been witnessing climate change for, for decades now and the seabirds have been telling us that story and I feel like we owe them a debt to do what we can to 
uh, to pay them back for what they've been telling us because they're the indicators of what's going on beneath the sea. We owe it to them and we owe it to future generations to, um, to sort of capture the story so we can learn about the virus and, and put sort of good conservation measures in place uh, to make sure the populations are as robust and resilient as they can be and protect the seas where they feed and protect their habitats where they breed. We just have to do it. <laughs>